Hey guys, this is Echo Soundworks with ADSR, and you are checking out a Logic Pro X tip and trick tutorial video. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can copy and paste groups or sections of audio or MIDI, doesn't matter what, that aren't on a like noticeable grid or pattern. They're just kind of like maybe you've created some chops or something like that. And that can be a little bit hard to do. So if you don't use this method, what you would typically do, like let's say these little blobs of audio here, Let's say these need to repeat twice in this 16-bar uh, section, right? And well, you'd have to just zoom in and be like, okay, this one's on this bar at bar 6, so bar 14 would be the equivalent of bar 6 and copy and paste out. And that can be a pain in the butt, especially if uh, you're doing longer passes and that sort of stuff. So what we're going to do here, and these samples are, are these chops or just vocal breaths that I want layered in on some random snares and hits for like an ambience and kind of sort of vibe. So what we're going to do is we're going to use the marquee tool to do this. So let's play this real quick. I've lost the light. I know. Tell me now. Where did you go? This is your life. So I want those happening on the last half of this 16 bar little uh, verse right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit escape on my keyboard. I can hit R again, or I can actually hit R for the marquee tool. It's right there. And with the marquee tool selected, what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight out from a musical, like where it makes sense musically. So I wouldn't highlight right here because if I copy and paste that, I'm kind of in the same boat. It's just randomly going to be occurring. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, okay, I want these blobs of audio to occur every eight bars, the same amount. So I'm going to highlight from the start of that eight bar on that on that track. I'm going to go from bar five to 13. Then with that selected, I'm going to hit command C. Now with the mar marquee tool still selected, I'm going to select once on the grid where I want to copy and paste it. And you'll notice that wherever I click with the marquee tool, there's a little line appearing. So I'm going to select right there and then hit command V. And there it is. And it'll be perfectly lined up with how it was on the first take, or on the first pass of that eight bar. Where did you go? This is your life. This is your war. And I can't fight it anymore. Your words words mean nothing at all. All right, just to reinforce this, reinforce this idea one more time. In the chorus section, we have lead vocals here, and then we have some like cool chopped up delay stuff I did. Oh, cause I don't care. So let's play these together. Okay, so let's just say hypothetically that I wanted this breakdown coursey section to occur twice in a row. I don't because it'd be too long, but let's say I want it to. want these to occur over there as well. Well, you can see these aren't on any like discernible downbeat that makes sense. I'd really have to get in there and zoom in, but I know I want them to occur every eight bars. So I'm going to hit escape, select the marquee tool. I'm going to select both of these tracks, okay? Now, both of these tracks are highlighted. In the first example, there was just one. So now what I'm going to do is highlight this out for the first uh, chunk of the course, which is, appears, appears to be a 16 bar loop. And we're going to hit command C and then click once here and we'll hit Command V, and it just popped those out how I wanted them to. And there it is, guys. A really easy, easy way to copy and paste things that aren't on grid inside of Logic Pro X. If you have any questions or comments, let me know below. And I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Like I said at the beginning of the video, I am Echo Soundworks. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I'll see you next time.